All right, welcome back, everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Today is a great day. I want you to know that because justice has been served. There's very few, like, feel-good moments on the internet, and this is probably one of them, you know? You remember the Uber driver girl? If, if you missed the video I made a couple days ago, pretty much there's this girl who took an Uber with her friends and harassed the Uber driver so much to the point where she pulled down his mask and coughed on his face, which I'm pretty sure is actually 100% a crime and could easily lead to jail time. And uh, yeah, it actually did lead to jail time. Pretty much what happened is that she turned herself in, which is pretty surprising if you ask me, considering like um, the, the, her personality and wh whatever we saw the last video. I'm pretty sure she would get arrested anyways, like it wouldn't take long to find her at all, considering she's banned from Uber and Lyft. Hey driver, get me out of the country. I'm sorry you're banned, like where is she gonna hide, you know? Clearly doesn't have a car herself or she wouldn't be using Uber. But I guess it's a good thing that at least she like recognized she did something wrong and she has to pay for it. Or, or, I'm, I'm not counting out the possibility that she just got pressured by the internet into like surrendering because if you remember even after the incident she went on her social media and started live streaming and said oh yeah uh, not a big deal. I just maybe, like, uh, coughed on him a little bit. It, it was kind of his fault, like, no big deal. Like, she was straight up delusional, you know? But yeah, today we got an update to the story, and it's a pretty awesome one. I, I got an additional story at the end, which is about this, uh, TikToker who's really crossed the boundary, but, uh, it, yeah, uh, I don't- I didn't want to make a full video on that, so it's just at the end. Um, it's pretty horrible, too, but, yeah, uh, make sure you subscribe if you do enjoy these videos. And yeah, uh, let's get this started. Never thought I'd read this, but woman who coughed on Uber driver facing years in prison after turning herself in. Here we have just a beautiful screenshot that pretty much sums up everybody. We got, we got one friend just... I don't want to be here. We got another friend like, yeah, yeah, you go, girl. And then we got the girl herself with her giant phone coughing on the dude. This dude's just holding his head like, why, why, why did I decide to come to work today? If you haven't seen the full clip, she like straight up goes in the front, tries to grab his phone, steal it from him, start shouting at him. It it's just awful. Like, this is the worst passenger. The incident took place on the 7th of March in San Francisco's Bayview neighborhood, with footage showing a group of women arguing with the driver before one 24-year-old uh, Arna coughed on him. On 14th March, the San Francisco Police Department confirmed that she was in custody after surrendering to the authorities. According to ABC7, she now faces charges of first-degree robbery, battery on a transit employee, and conspiracy to commit a crime. Jeez! Is that three charges? Jesus Christ. So the robbery is probably the phone she took from the driver? Battery is probably like the coughing and assaulting, and, and conspiracy to commit a crime. I, I think she acted on the conspiracy though. But yeah, I'm not complaining baby just get her off the street she definitely doesn't deserve to walk among human society if you can't have proper values and respect other human beings even though you, you might not know them then you, you just don't deserve to be out and about especially somebody that's providing you with like an essential service like me personally I'm like super genuinely thankful whenever like a, a taxi driver leaves me off I'm like you know, you know I, I, I just like to imagine a hypothetical world. Like, if I didn't have this taxi driver here driving me, I would literally, I would have to, like, you know, commute the entire distance, and it, it, it would be impossible. And doing that on a regular basis, that w I would just die. I wouldn't be able to do it. So pretty much, I need the guy, and I respect what he does. While the district attorney's office hasn't commented on what the robbery charge applies to, pretty sure it's the phone, right, in the video she's trying to steal it, but she didn't actually get to steal it, but uh, I think it's attempted robbery at least. We do know that her bond is set at $75,000. Oh no no no. Big yikes. That's phone, that phone's looking cheap now isn't it? This is what I want to teach on the Pegasus channel. This is the price of being an idiot. Be a good human being. Don't cough on people. I don't know man. The outlet explains that the charge of battery of a transit employee comes with a potential one year in prison and up to $10,000 while the first degree robbery could see her in prison for anything between three and nine years. I'm not too sure but I think the addition of all our crimes comes up to like 20 years which is just ridiculously long. Do I think it should be 20 years? I mean 
mean, uh, I'm not too sure about that, but a long time is probably good. Along with that, a sentence for her conspiracy to commit a crime charge also holds a potential of one year in prison, and that's before taking into account her violation of California's mask mandate and health codes, which could carry a number of fines. Oh my god. The San Francisco Police Department's robbery detail said that the 24-year-old's callous behavior would be met with justice. Straight up death note type things, justice, you know? Speaking before she handed herself in, McCray said, the behavior captured on video in this incident showed a callous disregard for the safety and well-being of an essential service worker in the midst of a deadly pandemic. I'm honestly glad they're taking it seriously because some people just kind of write off these employees uh, as like subhuman, which is just so awful, but I've seen this t type of like personality people have where, you know, people with jobs like cleaners, or maids or like uh, uh, uber drivers or stuff like that anything that they see as lesser which is not lesser whatsoever they just act like horror towards these people like like they're legitimately lesser than them we take this conduct very seriously in san francisco and we're committed to ensuring that justice is done in this case another of the women in the video 24 year old malaysia king has also been arrested on charges of assault with a caustic chemical assault and battery conspiracy and violation of health and safety code she attacked him with a chemical Chemical dude, geez. I'm really hoping this is like a completely separate case and you know when they're investigating these women They found something else because if they did this on the uber driver I swear to god, I'll just be ten times more pissed a police statement said that the uber driver had picked up three female passengers at San Bruno Avenue and Felton Street at approximately 1245 p.m. A few minutes later the driver stopped the vehicle and ended the ride when he realized that one of the passengers was not wearing a mask in compliance with state and local public health authorities Orders, the statement explained. The driver said that he could not continue the fare unless all passengers were wearing their masks. An altercation ensued largely captured on video, and one of the passengers reached over the driver from the rear seat area and stole the driver's cell phone. Honestly, this is why you should actually like record everything, especially if you're like an Uber driver. Sadly, we exist in a world where these horrible people just exist and you're bound to run into them eventually, right? And when you do, you want to be prepared. They will pretty much do anything. They will lie to the police, lie to everyone and then when there's like three versus one you can't even do anything right but luckily this guy had it all captured on camera and caught them in 4k you know the victim grabbed and eventually regained possession of his phone the suspects then exited the vehicle and another passenger reached into an open window and sprayed what is believed to be pepper spray into the car towards the driver oh my god i didn't even know this jesus christ so that was the chemical huh they legitimately pepper sprayed him and thought they could get away with it oh my god yo i'm actually like 10 times more pissed Jesus Christ. I thought she only coughed on him, which is already like horrific, but Jesus pepper spray as well? The suspects fled the scene. Oh, of course they did. They're little pussies, you know? SFPD's robbery unit took over the investigation and identified two suspects soon after, Mrs. Kimi and Mrs. King. Dude, I thought this was a feel-good story where she just went to prison, but I just learned that she not only coughed on him, but like pepper sprayed him. I, I don't know why people aren't talking about this part. Like every video I've watched is this, okay, coughed on him, but like Dude, pepper spray is no joke, it literally burns you. If that gets in your eyes, which is where I imagine they sprayed it, I mean, where else, right? If, if it's through the window, it's going in your eyes. It's a long, painful experience. That's pretty much why you use it on assaulters and robbers and people who are actually a threat to you, and you use it as self-defense, you know? That's why the average person is allowed to carry pepper spray to defend themselves, not spray a random innocent Uber driver. You completely abused your privilege there, that was, that was disgusting. You know, just a few minutes ago, I, I said, I, I don't know if you deserve 20 years in prison because I was like, that's a super long time. Maybe lesser would be more appropriate, but considering the amount of offenses that you've committed and the fact that you pepper sprayed him as well, okay, you can rot in jail. All right, fellas, I think that's the end of the Uber driver girl story. Let's, uh, let's just move on to a little mini story. Um, there, there's this quirky TikTok girl who thinks that it's a joke uh, to falsely accuse people. One of you guys sent me this TikTok of this girl saying, me remembering when I was eight years old and lied about an old man touching me in a park, so you got arrested all because I was an attention seeker. Nice one, TikTok girl, super, super quirky and funny. May I know the name of this man so, you know, he, he can get out of jail because he's innocent and, you know, you can jo you can take his place. Why do people do this? He, at eight years old, you were a devil, Jesus Christ. And what's even worse is that even after you grew up, you didn't even, like, correct your wrongs or anything like that. That guy's, like, still rotting in jail and you're here making TikToks. And what is this BS, like, pretending to be surprised, like, oh, 
Oh my god, I'm such a bad person. Yes, you are. Jesus. This is a straight up demonic dude putting innocent people in prison, like invalidating real victims by making up fake stories. Like attention seeking is one thing, but being scum is just another. I I I'm done, dude. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Thank you for watching. Smash like, subscribe, comment below what you thought about the whole story. Does the Uber driver girl deserve 20 years in prison? I mean, uh, I'm not too sure uh, the exact amount, but she definitely deserves prison time. I think we can all agree on that. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. That's about it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.